we have a, a message that needs to be heard, not just across Arkansas, but it needs to be heard across this nation and globally. That's why I may, took the initiative to go to France and Germany. I know it's hard duty. You would go on an economic development trip, perhaps to this country, but it is hard work. And we went to France to the Paris Air Show, supporting Arkansas companies like Dassault Falcon Jet, that uh, is such a great employer here in central Arkansas, but has a supply chain that impacts the entire state. We met with industry leaders there. And then we went on into Germany to the steel show uh, in Dieseldorf. And in the steel show that scores of countries are represented there looking for business opportunities, areas to expand. And I'm there with Big River Steel. Uh, obviously, Nucor is so important in the message that we have. But whenever I can talk about the fact that now in Arkansas, when these two companies are both online, we will have one county in Arkansas, Mississippi County, that will be the lead steel producer in the United States of America. I went into one presentation in Germany and I was making the case to an automobile manufacturer about Arkansas. They're very interested in the key person that actually makes the decision on where a new automobile plant needs to be located. And uh, they say, well, tell me about Arkansas. We've never been there. And so I tell them about things that they might identify with, whether it's Walmart, whether it's Tyson's Foods. Oh, are they located in Arkansas? You make the connection for them. And then I talk about the steel industry. I talk about uh, the retail sector and agriculture. And then I lay out for this German company a map of Arkansas with so many small towns in Arkansas in which I say these are the current German companies that have operations in the state of Arkansas and they're over 30. And he looked at that map and said, wow, that's German companies here in the state of Arkansas, that's some place that we need to look at further. We have a story to tell uh, to the world, and I intend to speak it. I think it's important to uh, relate to you four things, four observations for my trip overseas very quickly. First of all, global engagement by the governor of Arkansas is absolutely essential in fighting for jobs in Arkansas. Whenever I went to the Paris Air Show, there were nine governors there competing for jobs. There was Rick Scott from Florida. Uh, there was Texas with a presence there. You had Alabama with Huntsville. Of course, Aero Defense, we have a story to tell. We have $1.6 billion in exports in Aero Defense industry. So I'm telling that story there. Uh, but you had governors from Arizona, uh, from Virginia, from from Alabama, on and on down the line, voting their states. Arkansas was there for the first time in the full booth, advertising this state and say, making the case that we can compete in aero defense industry here in the state of Arkansas. And so global engagement's important. The second point that I would make, or observation from my time there, is that trade promotion authority that I advocated for, but Congress just passed, and so it will now go to the President's desk. I know it's somewhat controversial, but I hope that you will understand how important it is for job creation here in the state of Arkansas. And let me tell you a simple fact that I learned that I think makes the case for us. As I went to the automobile manufacturer in Germany, and thank goodness there's two or three of them, otherwise you'd know who I'm talking to. But as I went to them, uh, I was making the case, and they told me that they have a choice of locating their next plant in the United States of America, which they want to be able to expand the market here, or in Mexico. They got a choice of locations. If they come to the United States of America, their market is pretty well limited here. Because if they export from here to Europe, it's a 10% tariff that adds to the cost of the vehicle. It doesn't make it work. If they locate that plant in Mexico, they've already worked out an agreement with the European Union to reduce the tariffs to zero. 
And so they can build a plant in Mexico where they can market to the United States, they can market to Mexico, and they can market to Europe. We are at a disadvantage. Trade Promotion Authority and agreement to reduce those tariffs across the board in Europe will help us to attract a uh, better chance to attract an automobile manufacturer here in Arkansas. So put that in your mind. I went through uh, Caterpillar, an incredible company here uh, in North Little Rock, and uh, Caterpillar has 40% of their marketplace globally outside the United States. We have, are competing in a global market. We have to negotiate these trade agreements to reduce the tariffs. It will help us to benefit the state of Arkansas. The third observation I would make, and I know that uh, many of you already know this, it's logical, but it sort of dawned on me as to how critical it is when I'm having these conversations uh, with our companies there that we want to expand. And that is the importance of supply chain drivers. The importance of supply chain drivers. And what I mean by that is that I talked to a company that's located in Arkansas and I said, we need you to expand. What is it going to take for you to expand and create more jobs? And they looked at me and said, we have no organic capability for expansion. And I said, what do you mean? He said, we can't expand unless our, the one that we service, which in this case was a So Falcon Jet, sells more jets. When the So Falcon Jet expands, and creates a greater marketplace, it goes down the supply chain and they can then create jobs. If you concentrate on the supply chain drivers, then that benefits all the suppliers in that chain in every small town in Arkansas. That is the opportunity for us. And our supply chain drivers, Big River Steel, Caterpillar, Lockheed Martin, Nucor, on and on, those are the manufacturing arena. You've got the other supply chain drivers that we already are aware of, from Walmart to Dillard's, Murphy Oil, but it's the manufacturing. We've got to continue the opportunity. Do not be jealous in your community. If we recruit an industry some, located somewhere else, as long as they drive the supply chain, you will benefit from it in your community as well. The fourth lesson that I think I would take back from Europe is that we are on the right track with our computer science initiative here in Arkansas. As I mentioned, because the legislature in a bipartisan way supported this initiative and mandated computer coding to be offered at every high school in Arkansas, next year we will not be the national standard of only one out of ten high schools offering computer coding. We'll offer it and we'll be the first state to offer it in every high school. Wow. And so this means that I get an interview from Wired Magazine out of New York. Wired Magazine calls me up and says, Governor, we're doing a story, but we have a question for you. And that is, why is Arkansas leading the nation in the first comprehensive computer science education program? I just stopped and absorbed the moment. It's just nice to be asked that question. And I didn't finish the conversation about CNBC and Squawk Box this morning, but they put the graphics up in the air, and the reason we had their attention is because we were 35th last year because we were lacking in innovation in industry. They found out about the computer science initiative, and we hope that we will move up. But it gave me the opportunity to make the case. And so whenever I'm in Germany meeting with SAP, a major software uh, developer, in fact, one of the world's largest software developers, and I'm telling them about our computer coding initiative, they have their eyes open. And they say, we're actually backtracking from that in our own communities. They did mandate computer science in every high school, but they backed away from that. And I said, why? And be, they said because the teachers were intimidated because the students knew more about it than they did. <laughs> now you laugh about that, but you need to let that absorb for a minute because that reflects our challenge as well. Because we can offer computer science in every high school, but we need teachers. 
They will avail themselves and have the courage to learn enough that they can actually mentor the students. And so I'm asking you as municipal leaders, as mayors of your communities, make sure that you encourage the teachers. Make sure you encourage the superintendents because uh, it's inspiring. Just like yesterday, I was at the mansion and we were greeting uh, the academic achievers, the top achievers in our high schools across Arkansas. And one of them was accompanied by a teacher. And the teacher said with great pride, I want you to know this was a 50 year old plus teacher. And she came up to me and she says, I'm gonna be teaching computer science next year, computer coding. And I said, what possessed you to do that? And she said, because the governor said it was important for our state. <laughs> Let me tell you, that sends chills up and down my spine. And so she knew, yes, yeah. teacher that knows nothing about computer coding but she's willing to take that risk because she knows it's the economic opportunity for our state and for our students and so she's investing herself we need to make sure our students are encouraged to take that risk as well I'm excited about these opportunities I'm marketing Arkansas I'm going to continue to do that and let me conclude with saying the world knows about Arkansas and Walmart. The world knows about Arkansas and Tyson, about Arkansas and Dillard's. These stories have been told and they will continue to be told and they should be. They are a part of our pioneering spirit and our risk-taking heritage. But now the world is starting to learn about Arkansas and aerospace, about Arkansas and steel, about Arkansas and computer technology, about an Arkansas that is ahead of the curve, leading the nation and planning for the future. We are adding important chapters to the story of Arkansas.